Good morning to all of you, and may God bless you, opening your understanding so you may um, understand what you will hear this morning. In the past two days, we have talked about the meaning of fearing God and, and the benefits of this fear. And today's verse 14, we'll see uh, psalmist emphasizing the importance of this awareness of fearing God. So let's read what is written here in verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Covenant is our partnership with God. It means that I am with God, God is with me. And he reveals, he shows this partnership, this covenant, every time, different moments of our life. But what would be the secret? Because covenant, it's not difficult to understand. But secret, what could be this secret? Well, the word already suggests, of course, the name. It's something that only God knows, and of course, he reveals to whom he wants. However, let's put, uh, how could I say, explain this in this way, comparing to human secrets. Because when someone tells you a secret, it's not meant you to go and tell to, not, to other people, right? The person trusted you, her secret, so the person believes, trusts that you will keep it. You will not share with other people. But God's secrets are not meant for us to keep or hide them for ourselves. It's quite the opposite. When God reveals his secrets to someone, those who fear him, it's he wants that person to go and share with others about that secret. Why? Because then those who will know about that secret they will have the desire as well to be revealed with the same secrets. Unlike humans, sometimes you know that some people, they keep secrets for years. Some of them, they even die and they take their secrets to, to the grave. But with God, is not like this. So let's now think, what could be God's biggest secret? The secret that he wants all humankind to know about it. Salvation. That's right. Salvation that comes through his spirit. When someone is baptized with the Holy Spirit, to that person, salvation is revealed. The kingdom, the eternal kingdom of heaven is revealed to that person. And you may see all those, everyone who receives the Holy Spirit, straight away that person have the desire, this deep desire to go and talk about Jesus to other people. They want to share with others that peace, that joy, that happiness, that strength, that difference they now have inside of them. So take advantage of these 21 days of this fast of Daniel we are doing. We are approaching the last week of the fast. Take advantage. Every day counts. Every day counts. Today counts. Tomorrow, Palm Sunday counts. Do not miss tomorrow's service, 7.30 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. Be present at your local branch. Think about this. God wants to reveal to you his secret, which is salvation that comes through his spirit. May you have a blessed day. See you tomorrow.